Hey guys, it's the Creator 13 here. In this video, I will be showing you how to install Bedrock Tweaks. So this is the resource pack I will be using throughout my uh, my Minecraft, like just all Minecraft videos from now on. We'll be using this pack. I play on Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. It is not currently available for any Bedrock version other than Windows 10. Um, and jo for Java, go to VanillaTweaks.net instead of uh, the Bedrock Tweaks website. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, in your URL bar, I I'm using MS Edge. Just type Bedrock Tweaks into the search bar. You'll get BedrockTweaks.net. Uh, my Webroot thing has a little check mark on it. So, uh, if you have Webroot, then that check mark means it's the right one. Press OK for the cookies. Uh, you want to go to resource packs first. This is what you will install into your main game. All right. So I'll be doing, you know, alternate block destruction. Like you can. So first, what you want to do is select all your packs, right? So you know, I'll unbundle those. That'll be useful survival. You know, softer wool. That'll be good for building. Brown leather. That that looks much better than regular leather. Ashless campfires. I use campfires for bridges a lot and the ash is kind of annoying uh unique dice but you know just anything you want to anything you want to like add to the game like golden crown plain leather armor bam bam like the, the polished stones to bricks one is really good for building in my opinion so you know just like clo close some of these tabs so that you can save space but on this right side you'll see where all of the uh, all the packs that you've selected uh, so you just you know go around and you know you can just select better or select whatever stuff you want to do like smoother stones yeah wider snow wider snow um, I like this lower grass kind of texture um, the reason I'm filming this by the way is so if anybody wants to use my exact uh, exact resource pack then you know you can uh, the variated bricks I really like for building. The bookshelves, that'll be cool because once chiseled bookshelves are added, the variated bookshelves will add more variety to that, so that'll be nice. Um, let's see. Anything else in there? No. Peace and quiet, you know, my parrots are like really, really loud and they're kind of annoying, so I'll turn that off. Uh, let's see, quieter rain, you know quieter nether portal i'm not going to turn off cave sounds because i know i use cave sounds to know whether or not i'm in or i'm nearby a cave when i'm strip mining uh budding amethyst order borders will be useful right i'm not going to do ore borders because no the visual infested stone wax copper right yeah um hunger preview banner patterns like all these are just uh are just chill. The directional hoppers I'm not a big fan of because when building it kind of ruins it. Um, unlit redstone ore looks cool though. Brewing guide, directional observers, uh, borderless glass. That's always really cool. I, I really like that. The unobtrusive enchantment glit is coming in 1.20 so you know there's that. Uh, I, I'm not gonna be... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a translucent pumpkin overlay um and a translucent spyglass overlay i'm not gonna go full nothing right but uh i'm not gonna do any of these small utility things i'm fine with that uh i really like this circle or the square plus dot crosshair and the rainbow xp heart the the wither hearts are useful because i can never tell whether i have wither or not or like which hearts have wither dark ui my eyes absolutely suck trading helper this is an absolute must um for the for villagers it really helps basically it shows all the trades that a villager will have throughout their lifetime for many panor panoramas i like to do sunset valley um and then for retro you know let's see do i want anything in here o the oof sound and the door sound are cool um the Darth Vader piglins. I, I really like those Darth Vader piglins. Um, 
yeah, I, I think that's all. I, I'm not gonna do colorful slime. Uh, I like, I really like dungeon stone. Dungeon stone is really solid. Creepers, also, I'm gonna turn the creepers into uh, dungeons creepers. They camouflage better and it looks cooler. I'm just gonna, you know, do some of these random fixes, like, uh, I'm not gonna change the consistent tadpole bucket. I like how it's a different color of water because it's a different biome. Like, updated observer, paste, uh, maybe not that, but like, smoker bottom, uh, cactus bottom, cocoa beans, just whatever. Like, I'll do pixel consistent bat and beacon beam, like, some of those I think look cool. Um, don't care about the sonic boom too much. Um, the blaze rods thing, I don't really care about. Double slab, that'll be cool for building. But yeah, once once you're done here, go into the resource pack selector, right? And where it says pack name, you can type out. Like I'll say, whoa, my mic almost fell off my desk. I'm using my, uh, my, my new mic that I did a review for. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let's see. YouTube RP that means resource pack and then download uh, yeah once you click the file it'll take you directly to Minecraft and it's you know it'll boot up as you know as usual and come on. so I already have a bedrock tweaks pack installed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into settings and then into global resources I'll take down, uh, like I'll deactivate that. My pack's YouTube RP is what I'm gonna activate. Um, so then what this does is only I will be able to see this, but it, I'll be able to see this throughout all of like, like if I'm in somebody else's world, I can see this. If I'm in the hive, I can see this. So then if you want to apply these resource packs to a specific world, what you got to do, come on, what you got to do is like go into like the edit mode for, uh, for a thing and go into resource packs, remove your old one if you want to, and then put the new one on. So see now, now anybody who joins my world can see this. Same with behavior packs. Uh, I don't believe there is a thing. There we go. Um, so yeah, vanilla tweaks will have its own instructions specifically for the Java version of Minecraft. Um, so it'll load and stuff. But then what you wanna do, right? So do the same thing for the uh, the add-ons. It'll, it'll do the exact same thing for the add-ons and crafting tweaks. The only thing with those is you can't apply them to global resources. You have to put them into a specific world. Um, and once you do that, keep in mind that with the wandering trader head thing, you have to turn on an experimental feature in the, uh, where is it? It's down here. You have to turn on uh, holiday creator features for any of the head, like the, the mob head and block head mini block stuff you have to turn on holiday creator features but they can't be turned off after world creation and you might not be able to update your uh, your thing so you know only do it in worlds you either don't care about like for example my head test I put it into uh, into experimental right because this is a world solely for that or like if you were making a survival world with these then you know you can do that but just keep in mind that your world will be buggy i guess all right so uh that's it for uh doing bedrock tweaks uh pack installation uh you know like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video adios